The country is becoming more dangerous all the time, and it's not law-abiding gun owners that are making that happen. Unless you've been living under a rock or have a narrative to push, there's no arguing this statement. That's why I want to start a conversation about homestead security. The first video in that conversation is about personal protection, firearms, and carrying them. <laughs> Welcome back. I know this topic is one that can be divisive. Even if you're someone pushing a narrative or are afraid of inanimate objects, hear me out. In view of everything going on around us, it's an important topic. Between an economy that is much worse than what they want to say it is, to a government that won't prosecute, let alone punish crime, normal people are becoming more desperate and criminals are becoming more emboldened. Things are so bad that in places like San Francisco, companies are shutting down stores because of rampant theft. People are being robbed of their groceries, and violent and deadly racial and ideological attacks take place on a regular basis. If you live in a rural area, don't think you're immune. Meth and fentanyl are tearing through rural communities, causing crime to rise. Uh, property crimes and home invasions are becoming more and more common. If you live on a rural homestead, this can be a real concern. Now, do we live in a Mad Max world? No, not by a long shot. But all you have to do is take a quick look at history to see the trajectory we're on. Um, take a look at Venezuela in the 2010s and Argentina in the 2000s, and you can see what happens to a society when, when an economy just completely collapses. Um, look at Rhodesia in the 70s and 80s, and modern-day South Africa, and you can see what happens whenever you mix in radical racial and political ideologies. Uh, white farmers in both countries were being randomly killed in the middle of the night and their homestead sacked. When we were selling the old homestead, someone saw me with my pistol on my hip. They had seen me with it before, so they asked me if I carried a firearm every day. I told them, yes, I did. I try to carry every day because carrying a weapon is a habit. And if, like any other habit, if you don't use it, it goes away. And as cliched as it sounds, I would, I would rather have a gun with me and not need it than need a gun and not have it with me. Uh, realistically, if the sheriff's patrol is on the other side of the county, it's a 45-minute drive to my gate. Now what am I supposed to do if something happens? Do I, do I wait 45 minutes for help to arrive? Yeah, by the time they get here, it's all going to be over and done with one way or another. At its very base level, homestead security is about personal protection. Uh, if you can't protect yourself, you can't protect your loved ones, and you can't protect your homestead. Uh, we do all this for the freedom it gives us, and if we can't protect it, then all we're doing is paying lip service to the ideas of freedom and personal sovereignty. Uh, with proper training and use, firearms are a great equalizer. They level the field for the weak and infirm, and they also act as a force multiplier against multiple attack campaigns. And it goes further than just human criminal aspects of protection. Uh, if you live in the city, the only real predators that you have to worry about are people. On the homestead, there are other predators as well. Livestock and foodstuffs are constantly at risk of attack by predators. And, and as I've said before, predators can destroy capital, uh, financial capital on a homestead in a heartbeat. Now, I'll admit it. I've shot and killed predators that were killing our livestock and varmints that were eating our, our crops. Uh, one time I even took a shot from inside the kitchen at a fox that had one of our ducks in its mouth. Uh, Yoda wasn't too happy, but it was the only chance I had at taking the shot, and the fox never came back. Um, now, I'm, I'm not advocating uh, going out and trying to wipe out all the predators and varmints in your area. I mean, there, there's no sense in, in trying to kill an animal just for being an animal. Uh, but as long as they're not doing anything negatively that negatively impacts the homestead, I leave them be. You know, and there's other there's other things too. So our pigs didn't get that big, but I know people that have 600 pound hogs. And if you've ever seen one that's PO'd, it is a scary sight. 
Uh, if you have to, if you have to go into the pen and work with them, uh, a big two by four and a pistol may be your only way of getting out if they decide to turn on you. Um, and now I know I said I wasn't going to get political on the channel, and, but for the second time in two or three videos, I'm going to touch on it. Um, as of this recording, it's March 1st. Uh, if you look at what's going on in Ukraine, you can see the infinite wisdom the founding fathers had. They codified in the Constitution our inalienable right uh, to arm ourselves and bend together for the common defense against tyranny, whether it's coming from the outside or the inside. Uh, if you want to argue that fact and you haven't been paying attention and you don't have a clue what the Second Amendment is truly about. Now, do I think everybody should carry a gun? Absolutely not. In fact, there are people I know that I don't want to be within a country mile of should they start carrying a firearm. Uh, they are ignorant and they are emotionally unstable. And I don't want to be around them whenever they go off. Uh, also, uh, radical leftists scare me too. Uh, historically, about 10 seconds after they figure out how to use firearms, they take them and they stick them in the back of the head of people they disagree with and they pull the trigger. Now, we live in America. So until they prove otherwise, I'll support their right to bear arms. You know, that's not that's not my place to uh, to make that call. That's not some anti-gunner's call. It's not the government's call. You know, that's between God and whoever's carrying the firearm. Uh, if you don't want to carry a firearm for whatever reason, I support you 100%. And you know, while I may scratch my head at your decision. It's your personal decision, who am I to try to change that? On the flip side, anti-gunners don't have the right to try to take away my ability to protect myself, my loved ones, and my homestead. If I decide to carry a firearm and I neglect to get proper training and practice, or I am ignorant of the law and I get sideways on it all, then I deserve whatever I get. But that's for a jury and an unbiased court to decide, not yours preemptively. You know what, no matter where you stand on the issue, if you made it this far, I want to say thank you. Uh, I wouldn't be standing here recording this uh, if I didn't think it was an important topic. Uh, more so, I think it's going to become even more important uh, in the future for various reasons. Now, post a comment down below and let me know what you think. Uh, even if you disagree with me, I want to hear what you had to say. I know this can be a heated topic, so remember, please stay civil. Don't make it personal. I just don't want to deal with any drama on this. That goes for advocates on both sides of the equation. Have an open mind. Give it some thought. Most importantly, go out and pursue a life done free every single day. Grumpy G. Clear. Goodbye. <laughs>